Joining me now is Warren Hogan, Chief Economic Advisor at Judo Bank. Warren, thanks for your time. Uh, let's start with the Treasurer today. Basically said global factors are going to weigh heavily on the federal budget, but the objective, though, is still a second surplus. Do you think that's still achievable? Yeah, I'm sure it is. You wouldn't be talking about it if it wasn't. Um, but I think that the Treasurer has got a bit of a track record of talking down the economy, talking down the global economy, um, and I think that's for good reason. He wants to see this inflation removed and, the, and that requires a soft economy. But of course, it's not just going to go away because of words. We need to see policy action. And the reality is, as your previous guest just showed, is that this inflation pressure is not leaving the system. And these global uncertainties only complicate the story. That are, They're not making the inflation go away. Yeah, Treasurer says the big concerns are on commodity prices and on revenue for the budget, but iron ore still seems to be holding up pretty well, really. Yeah, well, maybe that's the problem now that our Treasurers of all ilks are used to getting so many upgrades that when you don't get one, that uh, it's a bit of a disappointment. But the reality is the real boost to the budget's coming from higher income taxes, a strong domestic economy and expanding labour force and bracket creep. So that's what's going to get him the surplus this year. Um, and of course, the issue they've got is that the economy is looking better actually now than they expected. It's actually the economy in 24-25 that may not hit their previous forecasts of over 2.5% growth. So I think that's going to be the focus, a weaker 24-25 than they had originally thought back in uh, December when they did the mid-year update. Uh, the other story today is New South Wales potentially losing its AAA credit rating due to the GST car buck. But how, how much of a problem is this for New South Wales? Is it going to make push up their borrowing costs a lot more if they go to AA plus? Yeah, well, that will depend on how they manage it. But I think the, 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 the tone of what uh, the, the Treasurer Mookie was saying is that they're not w willing to sacrifice the economy for the AAA, which I think is sensible and appropriate. And he's, I suppose, getting advice that if they do continue to sort of see the debt levels rise um, without any harsh cutting back of government spending, uh, that that's what will cut that AAA. But look, the reality is, as the Treasurer pointed out, as New South Wales has got a terrible deal um, from the GST. Um, obviously, WA is getting you know rivers of gold from uh, the GST, and that's been well documented by a number of prominent economists lately. And uh, our work, and we've just released a report today on the state economies, New South Wales is the weakest state economy. It's, uh, it's lagging uh, all the others, even Victoria, and well behind WA and Queensland, which is actually recovering quite strongly this year. And look, on Wednesday this week, the March CPI inflation numbers, they're out. Look, are you expecting inflation to, to come down a little bit more to, what, 3.5% or so? Yeah, I think the, the market expectation is for a number just under one. That'll take inflation under four, which we've seen in the monthly numbers. Really, we're just going to see what the confirmation is of whether or not the domestic inflation is coming back a little bit, because when you strip everything out, it looks like domestic inflation is still over 4%. That'll be the key on Wednesday. Um, but, of course, these numbers really just reflect what has happened with the, the global disinflation from goods prices. And is really, I think it's the services and the domestic inflation, which is the focus of central banks all around the world. And that's going to be the focus, I think, on Wednesday. And I think that's still going to be showing inflation in Australia is above 4% and too high for the RBA. Yeah, you mentioned uh, the Judo Bank report on states, but you've also got the PMIs around the business sector. How's the business sector holding up at the moment? It's coming back. In fact, the, the soft landing uh, looks to be uh, behind us. The recovery in business activity is quite clear in 2024. And then when we look across the states, it is WA, Queensland and South Australia that are leading the way. Uh, New South Wales is the laggard and is still quite soft. And of course, New South Wales is the biggest state economy, so that is important. Uh, but overall, the business community is looking a lot better. It's the big question for the economy for the rest of this year is will the consumer start to open their wallets again as income growth occurs? And it will occur because we're going to get those tax cuts on 1 July. So the business community is in good shape. The question marks the consumer. Warren Hogan, um, Chief Economic Advisor at Judo Bank. Thanks for coming on the program this afternoon. Thanks, Ed. Thanks for having me.